I'm looking forward to a personal care robot in the future. What aspect of the robot? Well, I want them to make coffee and bring it to me. <laughs> in 2016, Stats Canada recorded over 770,000 people living in the country over the age of 85. That's 2.2% of the population. Advanced technology is being explored to help Canadians live a better life. This event is the AgeWell National Impact Challenge Startup Edition. Things like AI, uh, virtual reality, health and wellness. Um, and the idea is to give them some exposure and to pick a winner that's uh, going to make a big difference in the lives of older adults and caregivers. What I have underneath my chin is a sensor that senses how hard these muscles are contracting and for how long. And it transmits that information on a smartphone app so that I can see what I'm doing. But what I want to do is swallow. So it's been a priority of AgeWell over the last four or five years uh, to work with uh, small companies uh, and startups to really push this along. Does it have any long-term side effects? Um, the sensors we try to come up with a solution that's easy for seniors. Um, it's not, not too tacky. It doesn't really require a lot of professional helpers. So you'll have this one beeping too if there's nobody around. Um, it helps people, you know, when people are cooking and then walk away and sometimes forget. Stove is on. Choose your own virtual reality education tool. Uh, it's created for caregivers and health care providers of those with dementia and cognitive decline to help them identify pain behaviors. And you're going to see a button that says library. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Agewell says that 70% of Canadians believe incorporating more technology into their health care will help prevent illness. I'm Leah Bolton with Joy TV News.